Well, yes, indeed, and, and it's, we see lots of huge uh, the questions coming through, so we'll consider seeing how we could uh, bring the professor back and take some more of these questions in the days ahead. But now we've got Mr. George A.K., a legal practitioner, here with us this morning. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you so much. Well, uh, ever since you've been you heard some of the submissions he's given as yes. to how he's getting down to work and ensuring that things work, uh, and then particularly about those who protest. They said, look, they've got a right to protest. Is anything wrong with that? Uh, well, you see, I, I, I like to look at this whole situation uh, from a bigger picture, from a point of view of uh, the effect what has happened will have or does have on uh, governance and uh, public service. As against looking at which HMO is paid and did not pay any hospital and all of that, I'm looking at the governance structure. And when I look at the governance structure, I, I begin to look at the reinstatement of the executive secretary. The query I have for the uh, uh, reinstatement of the executive secretary is the presidency that reinstated him probably did not advert his mind to the ripple effect this reinstatement is going to have on the public service. What would that be? The morale. Here is a person who was, who had to face an administrative panel, call it a probe, that was ordered by the vice president and the head of service. He was investigated for several things, one of which is the one that uh, Anjore just uh, asked him, mismanagement of training funds, totaling up to 900 and something million. Part of the recommendation of that uh, panel was that a refund of 508 million be made back to the federal government because they were paid under questionable circumstances. Then he was interdicted, as it were. The language is interdicted. Interdiction in civil service is give way from your office, let us investigate you. And the sense of that is so that you don't tamper or compromise the documents and pieces of evidence with which we are going to investigate you. Then he left. That's the suspension. This happened while the president was on his medical vacation. And by the time the president came back, he was reinstated. Indeed, it was like he was literally forced down the throat of the ministry. But we heard him say that the vice president understands due process. Yes, right. I, there I, was no I, I, I had him uh, say so protestation too. from that. I, I had him say so. You know, when you asked me, when you called me to look at this matter, I went back to my library and I picked up a book written by Dr. Humphrey Mosu, as he then was, because he eventually became a professor. That's the man who ran our electoral process at a point in time. The title of that book is Political Authority and the Nigerian Civil Service. It's not as if I am not aware of what administrative law says about governance structure, power, and authority. But it was more encapsulated in the sense that it was contextualized. It was contextualized in this book where what appears to be power and authority we are now put in the context of the socioeconomic situation, the sociocultural situation in Nigeria. And that was when he made a difference, a distinction, that you could be given authority and you wouldn't be given power. That was exactly what happened to the Minister of uh, Health. Because we heard now that he said the Minister of State, I mean the Minister of Health could not sack him or could not discipline him, that it was the President that appointed him and that he is only responsible to the president. I do know that there are about 425 parastatals in the category of MDAs in, at the federal level. And I don't think anybody would imagine, even if the president was younger and more energetic, that the heads of all of these people must necessarily go and report to the president. You would have noticed that at a point in time when the president was on medical leave, some of 
the heads of these parastatals and heads of government, or some officials, we are trying to carry files to the president on his sick bed. Indeed, Sheikh Garba, he was, in fairness to him, said the president turned some of them back, that that is an acting president. What am I talking about? Discipline, authority. That this is capable of, is a recipe for mass organizational insubordination and discipline. All right. We'll get to our concluding thoughts in a moment when we return from this break. Join us again.